Hi guys, in this tutorial I will teach you how to make this smooth line watermark animation for your edits because there's a lot of people who steal your edits every day. By adding this watermark you can secure your edits or you can keep your edits safe from those people. In this video I will show you a very easy way how to create the watermark and how to use it as a preset so that you don't have to create it every time. And also guys, thank you so much for 140k subscribers. It's a very very big achievement for me guys. Thank you so much for subscribing to the channel. I really appreciate it guys. Now I won't bother you anymore, let's move to the tutorial. To get started, first we have to click on this new composition button here and in the duration you can put 10 seconds. The resolution you can put whatever you like but uh, I use this one. After creating the new composition, press Ctrl, Alt, Shift and T to create a new text layer and in the text you can type the text that you want to appear as watermark. In my case I'll type my channel's name there. Now move your text to the place where you want your watermark to appear. I want my watermark to appear at this place so I'll keep my text here. Now zoom in a bit and uh, make sure to turn on proportional grid so that you can draw the line easily. And you can also change your resolution to full to make it more clear. Now press G and make sure you're not selecting any other layers. And then you can draw a line like I do. For the line, change its fill to invisible. And uh, for the stroke of your line, change it to white color. And also the size of stroke, you can make it 9. Now position your line to the left of your text and uh, after doing that set your shape layer, click on this arrow then click on add and trim paths. Expand this menu and create two keyframes, one for a start and one for an end. Now drag these keyframes to the point when you want your line to be fully visible. And now go to the start of your shape layer and change the value of both of these to 50. Now select all of these keyframes, press F9 to easy ease them, then copy my graph. As you can see the animation looks very smooth, now what we're gonna do now is we're gonna create position keyframes, for that press P on your keyboard and click on this clock near position to create a keyframe. Now go to something around 2 or 2.3 seconds and then there change the position of your line to the right side of your text. And now select both of these keyframes, press F9 to release them and then copy my graph. As you can see the animation looks very smooth. Now go a little before the second position keyframes and copy and paste all the start and end keyframes here. Then right click on the keyframes, click go to keyframe assistant and then click on time reverse keyframes. Open the graph editor and do the same graph that we did for the first ones. Now go to the end of your keyframes, cut both of these layers and delete the extra part. And uh, make sure to enable motion blur to make the animation more smooth. Okay, so now you have to double click on the rectangle to create a shape layer. Make sure its fill is white and the stroke is the same as the line that you created. Now you have to go to the first position keyframe and then there match your shape layer with the line. Now put it under, put it above your text layer and then link it with the line. Now press F4 on your keyboard and uh, for the track map, use alpha inverted match for the text. As you can see, you don't have to use mask for this and it's easier to use. Now cut the extra part of your shape layer and uh, now select all of these layers. Then press Ctrl C and Ctrl V to paste them and then uh, put it after your first layers and then you have to arrange them in the correct order. Now for the text, uh, just change the alpha mat, alpha inverted mat to alpha mat and it will reverse the whole process like this. As you can see the animation is looking very smooth and it's uh, very cool. So now just press Ctrl K and uh, decrease the duration to, uh, till the end of your, your animation. And now I'll show you how to use the line watermark as a preset. For that just press Ctrl I and then import the project of line watermark that we just created. After importing the project, just drag and drop the count one to your main timeline. And to make the line watermark look more good, just add deep glow and drop shadow. You can copy my settings. Your animation is complete here and it looks very smooth and you can also use it as a preset and you don't have to create it every time 
so this is it for today's tutorial i hope this tutorial helped you if it did then make sure to drop a like on this video and subscribe to my channel and also guys i'm so sorry for uploading this tutorial very late i know i said this like very early in one of my videos that i will upload a tutorial but it got late due to some problems i had to fix them i'm sorry for that but i'll try to be more consistent so i'll see you in the next video guys take care